Giorgio ASMR. Um, yeah, um, Vetterman, what are you doing? Okay, nonetheless, hey, what's up, everyone? This is Giorgio, your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, and I'm back with another ASMR video for you all. It is Vectorman Sega Genesis Gameplay. I hope that you all really, really enjoyed this uh, video as it will be fun for me to play this for you all, except in my ASMR voice. Um, yeah, and even the difficulty levels in this game have weird names like Wicked, Lame. Of course, I'm probably going to keep it on Wicked. But nonetheless, I hope that you all are having a really, really, really good day. And I know it just said really a lot of times, but forgive me for that. Nonetheless, let's get into this crazy gameplay of this uh, weird game. But anyway, it says Earth is 2049 and Earth's cities, forest, and ice caves are fueled with toxic Oh, dang. It, it just moved without me finishing it. Anyways, disaster. One powerful orbit. Raced, red star oversees the cleanup through a planet comnet. That didn't sound right. Tragedy strikes when in error attendants connect a salvage nuclear bomb to red. If it does this one more time, it's over. New World on Warhead is born and he stands for Trini, hatred, and oppression. And by wars to create Earth is fortune to something crap. I don't know. Anyways, Vectorman lands his space barge after delivering a load of sludge to the sun. Unhindered by evil mind control. He will Bruh, really? Anyways, let's get into the gameplay. So basically, when you shoot these little TVs, you know, items and power-ups will come out of them. And if you see those little spore, small little balls or or whatever that's what you want to call them, those represent your life. So when you lose those four balls at the bottom, you will be dead. And that's the end of the game. Your goal is to try to get as many of those as possible. And as you go through the game, you will be able to get more. And Vector Man, he has this unique ability where he can transform his gun into loud different types of guns. Like, he can make loud noises like this. Yeah, so this was my favorite video game as a child. And it was just such a blessing to be able, you know, to experience this. And I remember my mom buying me this game. Um, I don't know, maybe she thought the character would be very unique to me at the time, and he was. He was very different from any video game character that I've ever seen. And so, like, you know, it, it was just amazing. And um, as you can see, we're gonna see, hopefully we can get some more power-ups. And as you see, there's another one right there if we can get to it in time. So those two times, I guess that's like, you know, it makes them even more stronger. But you have to be careful with those big rock guys because they are really strong. They will keep coming after you. The call is to just kill enemies one by one. Don't try to gang up on more enemies at once or you will pay for it. Literally. Um, there's only two Vector Man games that I know of. There was going to be another one, I think, on the PS2. Uh, and also, I don't like this gun. This particular version of his gun, like an upgrade, it can get you killed. You have to be a little distance away to use it. You can't be up close while trying to use it because you will, as you can see, I just paid for that. But yeah, you, you gotta just be really careful using that one. I don't like that particular 
uh, version of Fat Demand's gun in general. And yes, it can be a little challenging doing the ASMR voice. Sometimes you have to make sure you drink a lot of tea or water before doing this. <laughs> but um, I wanted to keep the ASMR content coming for you all. And yes, that was cool. I like that he could let what he just did. He turned into a bomb. I really enjoyed that. And, and the trick with the bomb is to try to get up as far as you can in the stage and then let it explode, which I didn't do that right. So now we're heading up to the, uh, this is where we're gonna probably get towards the airplane boss fight. And yes, I could have got those TVs. I just didn't, I wasn't in the right distance. So, and this is, and that's another thing I liked about this game, was the boss fights were different. They were in your ordinary boss battles. Like, the trick to beating this airplane is you have to get under it and shoot under it. And eventually it will die. And sometimes you'll have to stay away from it, like stay towards the middle. I mean, or actually stay towards the wings. If you could stay right in the middle of those wings, you will be able to defeat this thing in no time. Yes, hopefully he doesn't destroy me. I have a tendency to die a lot in these type of games, as you all may have seen in my previous retro gaming efforts. Okay, we almost got him. He needs to fall. Yes, we did it. Yes, he throwing up the NWO sign. I like that. That was really cool. I like that. Man, and this game used to make me so, so happy as a kid. This is what I used to play every day after school. It really kept me calm for some reason. And me and my cousins would play these games like this together as well. Now here, I really like that he could turn into a tank. That's the really unique thing about Vector Man. He can turn into anything to use against these different enemies. Now the thing is, you gotta keep firing the web of the bombs. And the thing is, you can't get too close up on this thing or you will die like I keep dying right here. But eventually, I do get the hang of the pattern, and I am able to defeat this big ogre-looking thingy. But yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed this gameplay video. Thank you for watching for as long as you did. Let me know if you ever played this in the comment section below. And check out this cool clip at the end. Have a blessed one.